Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have been watching a lot of just cozy fall videos. Whatever I can get my hands on with people reading and having special cozy drinks and making baked goods and all of the things and I'm just loving the vibes. So this morning I thought to myself I'm gonna make one of those kind of videos because I do have a fun, cozy kind of fall week ahead of me and I thought it would be fun to share. So today we are headed to Barnes & Noble. I actually decided to participate in this thing called the Gilmore Girls Readathon. And since I have been watching Gilmore Girls with my daughter Madison pretty much every night for <laughs> approximately the last year, I was really excited to take part in it. So I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble and see if I can purchase some books that fit the um, challenges in that readathon. And then I also have just some other books on my wish list. So we're just gonna go and browse around the bookshop. It's an event for me because we really don't have a Barnes & Noble or a very nice bookstore anywhere near where I live. So for me, that in itself is a big event. And then in addition to that, probably either today or maybe sometime tomorrow. Me and my daughter Madison, I'm sure, are going to be watching one of our favorite episodes of Gilmore Girls because that is one of the prompts. And it's just such a beautiful fall day. The leaves are falling like crazy where I'm living. I just cannot even believe how many leaves are on the ground. It's like raining leaves every day and it's actually raining out. So it's just like a dismal dreary fall day and it's just a perfect day for getting my hands on some good books and just chilling. Oh and it's Sunday so it's just it feels like a Sunday. All right so I just thought I would randomly bring you guys along with me today and maybe tomorrow too. We'll see how it goes for just a cozy fall day or two and I hope that you enjoy coming along. Last night being Saturday night my daughter helped me organize my bookshelves. It was our big fun Saturday night event. <laughs> so I have all of my Christmas books here now. And I actually don't have very many Christmas books. So I think that might be something I'm going to look for today as well, because I really love seasonal reading. And I'm reading a lot of just full related books right now. So I'm really excited for some cozy Hallmark movie types of books for like the end of November into December. So definitely want to see if I can find something else to add to that shelf today. So we are back from a full day. It's actually almost 8.30 at night. We ended up spending a lot of time at Barnes & Noble. And then we visited with the family member for a while. And then we had dinner at um, the Olive Garden. So it's late now, but I wanted to quickly share with you a bookstore haul because like I said, it's been a while since I went book shopping. So I have a few books here from Barnes & Noble that I wanted to share with you guys. And they're very random. They weren't really all exactly what I was anticipating purchasing, but you just never know <laughs> what you're gonna end up getting. So one of the books that I ended up purchasing was A Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith. And so many people have previously recommended this book to me. It's been on my wish list for a very long time. And I love that this is the 75th anniversary of it. And I always like to get like anniversary editions of books when I can. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to pick it up. I don't know when I'm going to be reading it, but now that it's on my bookshelf, I know it's definitely <laughs> going to be something that I make a point to take the time to read because I just hear that it's very like heartwarming. It's a coming of age book about a girl. Um, I think it's like early 1900s, like the turn of the century. And I don't know, I really, really have wanted to read this for a very long time. 
And then this was actually something that I recently saw um, on a YouTube video. Somebody was doing book reviews. I think it was Miranda Mills. I really enjoy her book reviews. And this is a book called The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. And apparently it is about a mother daughter who live in Vermont and the town that they live in has this history of a girl's body being found in the woods or something and it's they never like solve the mystery as to like who killed her or what happened and whatnot and then all of a sudden the mother daughter duo the daughter goes missing in it's like the same area so it sounds really interesting um it says that it's like a historical mystery and i don't know it just totally sounds like something that would be very interesting to read. Obviously a great winter read as it takes place in the winter. So definitely I will be reading this as the months get colder. So I thought this was something fun to pick up. And then another book that actually has been on my book wish list for a very long time is this book called Bunny. So this is a dark academia book that I have wanted to read for the longest time. It takes place in New England at Warren University. And there is this group of girls called the Bunnies. And um, apparently they do some really creepy stuff. I don't know. I really have wanted to read this for a very long time, probably for a couple of years now. And I'll read you a little bit about what it's about from the back cover. It says, a scholarship student who prefers the company of her dark imagination to that of most people, Samantha Heather Mackey, is utterly repelled by the rest of her graduate fiction writing cohort in New England's elite Warren University, a clique of unbearably saccharine yet sinister rich girls who call each other bunny and seem to move and speak as one. But everything changes when Samantha receives an invitation to the bunny's fabled smut salon and finds herself inexplicitly drawn to their front door, ditching her only friend Ava in the process. As Samantha plunges deeper and deeper into the bunny's world and begins to take part in their monstrous experiments, the edges of reality begin to blur. Soon her friendship with Ava and the bunnies will be brought into deadly collision. So it sounds really interesting and I'm excited to read that. And then of course I have a couple of Christmas books. This is a book I actually just picked up at Target yesterday. So I thought it was relevant to include it now. And basically it's about a woman who um, owns a bookshop and she's invited to a wedding that takes place in a castle in England, I believe. And it just sounds like all of like the right things <laughs> for me. I love castles and I love bookstores and it's going to be a romance. Um, I think that at this wedding, she gets together with a boy that she once considered to be an enemy. And, you know, it, I don't know. I just really, really like the vibes of this book. And I think it's going to be a fun read around Christmas time. And finally, this one is called Blame It on the Mistletoe, and it's by Beth Garad. And this book reminds me a lot of the Holiday movie. I don't know if you have ever seen that. If you haven't, you should, because it's really a great movie. Cameron Diaz, um, Jack Black is in it. Kate Winslet is in it. So it follows the same trope where they swap houses for the holidays. And I love that. I just think it's such a fascinating concept to completely live in a different location and kind of live someone else's life for a little while. And I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. So this is another great holiday book that I'm really looking forward to reading. So I'm glad that I have two holiday books now on the agenda. And I don't even think I told you who this one was by. It's Meet Me Under the Mistletoe by Jenny Bayless. So these both sound really good. And I'm excited to get to reading those. So that's going to be it for today. I am sorry that the whole day just kind of slipped away from me. Like I said, it was just really busy. But I will see you guys tomorrow morning. So that's going to be it for tonight. I think that I am going to put on my pajamas and obviously watch an episode of Gilmore Girls with Madison. 
and I'm going to get to bed. So I will see you all in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. It's about 10.30 in the morning. It's already been the longest day. Hey, Leo. <laughs> so we turned the clocks back this weekend, and I am just so messed up with my sleep pattern and everything else. I was actually up at 4 o'clock this morning. I had to book dining for a client at 5.30, and at 4 o'clock, I was just having anxiety about it. I was just like, oh, I hope I can get this reservation. And I'm trying to like plan in my mind which reservation I'm going to go for first, second, third, and, you know, creating a, stra a strategy at four o'clock in the morning. Um, so this morning wasn't very cozy full vibes, although I did get all of the dining reservations. So that worked out well, but it's so beautiful out. It must be nearly 80 degrees. It is way too hot for November, but I think a nice Fallish thing to do would be to just go take a walk. So I'm going to take the dogs for a good walk right now and enjoy the sun and get some fresh air. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you guys along. And look at Leo already patiently waiting, patiently waiting. He heard the word walk. You want to go for a walk? Yeah, you do. I don't know that Chester is feeling quite as energetic this morning. Chester, do you want to go for a walk? Walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, there you go. back from my walk. I cannot believe how warm it is out, but it's just such beautiful fall weather. Even I can deal with a little bit cooler weather. It's a little warm for me, but I'm not complaining because I love the sun and I do not look forward to snow. As magical as it looks, it's not fun to clear off your car and to drive in it and all the things. So I'll take the sun right now. I am going to take a little break. I'm gonna do some reading. I'm gonna, I'll show you guys in a second like what the challenges are for the Gilmore Girl Readathon that I'm doing and the books that I'm reading. And I'm just gonna take a little afternoon break now. So here are the challenges. So I need to read a book that's set in a small town, read a book with family drama, one that's set during the fall or winter um, with a complicated love interest, a book that's by an Asian author or that has Asian representation. Bake a full treat and watch your favorite Gilmore Girls episode and read a book with leaves on. And then they're also doing a buddy read, which I don't think I'm going to participate in. Um, it's a book called As Seen on TV. So this is going to be the book that I am going to attempt to read again by an Asian author that has Asian representation. I tried to read this, could not get into this book at all, and I really want to. Look at the uh, pages. I think that the design of the book is really pretty. But anyway, I got it on Audible now, so maybe that'll be more interesting for me. So I'm going to listen to this on Audible. And then I have a book called Maple Crush, which has leaves on it. And it basically covers every single one of these prompts other than this. So that is going to be the other book that I am going to be reading. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm reading Maple Sugar Crush on Audible. So I'm gonna read that right now and I'm gonna snuggle up with Coco because she's always laying on my spot of the bed. Oh, so sleepy, I know.
guys can hear the leaves rustling, but right here obviously is a chimney. This is a fireplace that we don't really use, but I don't know if there's a squirrel in it or if there's just stuff falling into it, but I keep hearing like a lot of activity in there. <laughs> I was hoping I could catch it on film, but of course now it's quiet. I don't know, having squirrels in the walls, I can tell you from experience, is not fun. So hopefully it's just some leaves falling through. Peanut butter and jelly is true comfort food. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna have for lunch today. I don't know if I ever, I think I showed this to you guys a long time ago. How cute is this? I can't even remember the name of the website that I got it from, but it has Mickey ears. Unfortunately, some of these little balls fell off, but it's so cute and it has a little cat that kind of looks like the Starbucks logo. Super cute. I got this for my birthday a couple of years ago. All right, so I'm gonna make some peanut butter and jelly and then I'm actually gonna get back to work. I have some travel agency stuff to do and then the kids are gonna be home. It's a half day today, so it's gonna be a super short day. So this may not be incredibly cozy, <laughs> but this is reality. So I just unloaded the dishwasher and clearly I have a lot of um, dishes to do right now. So I'm going to listen to my Audible and I'm going to get some housework done. Okay guys, so I hope that you enjoyed coming along on a couple of cozy fall days. I think that I really enjoyed myself taking a couple of walks and reading lots of books and having some fun treats. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along. I cannot believe how dark it is. It is not even 5.30 yet. It is pitch dark out. But that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed what I had to share. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure that you're subscribed because I'm going to have a lot of really fun videos coming up for the holiday season and I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.